Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel for another painting tutorial. If you're brand new, my name's Joni Young and welcome here. I'm glad that you guys decided to join me today for this fun painting tutorial. You're gonna learn a lot today using all of these brushes here. Um, five of these, the purple ones, are included in my five piece brush set. So I designed these all and together with Craft and all, they produce them and distribute them worldwide. So they come in a beautiful velvet casing here and you get a free print with each set of brushes. So I'll have a link below if you're curious about how to purchase a set for yourself. And I'm gonna go through those brushes right now. We've got a number two rigger brush, a number three round brush, a 30 filbert brush, and a number 20 flat brush, a 14 filbert, and a one inch mop brush. So with all of these brushes, I'm gonna show you step-by-step step exactly how to paint this pretty winter landscape with a church. So join me now, hit subscribe if you haven't already, and let's get started. Okay, so we're gonna get started here right away. I'm just gonna go through my color list and I'll have everything listed below the video as well in the description box for you all. Starting off here, titanium white, neon yellow cool or lemon yellow, neon pink, aqua green turquoise, light blue violet, burnt sienna, cobalt blue, and dioxazine purple. I've got a 16 by 20 pre-painted canvas here. It's stretched and I've just pre-painted it with some gray. I let it dry and now we're going to come in and start adding the background to the foreground. So we'll start off with a sky and then start blocking in some bigger areas using a bunch of different brushes today. You're going to learn so much and I'm really excited that you guys are all a part of this with me today. So starting off with my large filbert brush, I'm going to get it just a little bit wet and I'm going to mix up some yellow and some white. So I'll just take them both right here, mix them up. And I'm going to I'm going to apply it, start right up here and just start pulling across the top. I'm going to add a little bit more white so that it dries to this soft lemon meringue shade of yellow. And the next color I'm gonna take right away without washing my brush off is my turquoise. Scoop up that white and a little bit of yellow in there and I'm gonna come across the right side. And gently pull right into the yellow. And now I'm gonna take a little bit of the light blue violet with some white. And I'm gonna start adding it just on the edge here, far right. Letting it pick up a little bit of that turquoise as I pull it over. And the next color I'm going to take, light blue violet and a little bit of dioxazine purple. And I'm just going to go like I'm painting mountains, just kind of going up and down slightly, making it bumpy like that. I'm take those colors again. I don't want to over mix anything to carefully not over blend. I'm going to take my dry mop brush. This is how you load the brush, kind of lightly on an angle like this, just by tapping. You want it to look puffy. So we're just gonna start tapping in and then picking up more white. We're gonna leave some spaces so that we get some shadows in there and you feel the layering. It's gonna look really pretty once it's all dry. a little bit more generous with a saturation so less white now I need a little bit a dry brush might work for you and if it doesn't add a little bit of water so I just needed to add a little bit of water so I'm gonna pull into that pink add it to my little peach section over here And I'm going to have a little bit of fun adding some P 
peachy pink down in here. I think this is just so pretty. Even more. And just at using what's left in my brush. You may need to add more to your brush. You may have enough left in yours like I do. I'm going to take some white, a little bit of yellow, no water this time, and I'm going to go partially over where I left off with that pink. And this time I'm going to take some burnt sienna and some dioxazine purple. Make a nice dark, dark color here. And I'm going to start coming in with our river. So I'm going to start adding it back here. Little lines. And then pulling it out wider. Now we're going to bring it out nice and wide here in the foreground. We're going to make it look frosty and a little reflective of all these beautiful colors above. light little sweeps like that. I like adding it to wet paint because then I make more colors when they mix together. So I think I'm going to go into my yellow next. Each time I pick a color, I'm going to add white to it. And maybe I'll start adding a little bit over here. Clean my brush off and I'm ready for the next color, turquoise and white. I'm going to take some more blue, add that down here, going back and forth, side to side. We want to soften and make it look more reflective by gently going up and down. And I'm just going to use a damp that it's not dripping. It's just damp enough when I, from washing it, my 30 filbert brush. So I'm just going to go very lightly. This will only work if your paint is still wet. get it wet and I'm going to take some purple, blue, and burnt sienna. So I'm just going to start adding, well oh, I'll add a tree here, handle pointing up, wiggling, I'll add another one right in here. So it works both ways with your handle pointing up like this, or you can start, especially when we know we're going to be painting over these branches, whatever you feel comfortable with. I was thinking. We paint our um, church 
right over here in the distance. It's another one inch and I'm going to take some burnt sienna purple and blue just a little bit. Don't overload your brush. And I'm going to just start lightly tapping. some bushes coming right over here. The next layer, I'm going to take another dry and clean mop brush and I'm going to come in with some white and some blue. I'm going to start adding a little bit of color to these trees and some snow. Sometimes using more blue and less white. Again, I'll take some white with it. Not over loading my brush. Okay, we're just going to add a little bit. adding a little bit over top of some of these areas here. You want to make sure you are leaving, always leaving some dark areas. So you're just painting, adding little sections of where the branches pop out and come out more on the trees. start adding our snow in more of the cool tones, some blue, a little bit of turquoise and white. Just going to pull across here. I'm going to come out over the water. And remember those little arches we made for the rocks? So we're going to go over those. And if you can't find yours anymore, just make it up. I like using the filbert brush for the snow because you get the, the nice lumpy looking snow, a nicer play on light and all those dips in the ground and the snow. Wherever the snow comes up higher and sticks out is where you're going to have it be lighter because the light is hitting it. You'll be able to create that by making these shapes and adding light and dark light to the parts that stick out, like over the rocks. I'm going to start with 
white and blue. So let's just mix it up over in this area. And I'm going to start with the steeple of the church, a narrow rectangle, take a little bit more, add a skinnier rectangle in there, and then just a little line on the top. Okay, then I'm going to come down partially over that rectangle, the steeple part, add a diagonal line here, one here, bring it down into a square in the front. Diagonal on the side, down on a slant. I'm painting it blue so that it's in shadow and then we can add some glowing light inside the windows. Now say you want to make yours a little bigger, it's really easy to do. Just bring your roof line up higher. A little bit of white here. Just coming inside so that we're not going over all of the blue. You want to be left with a little bit of blue for shadows. here. And then a little on the edge. Add a window, pushing with the tip of my brush to make it arched, and then a lower one here and here, and then one that comes up just a little bit higher than those. We're going to pull three long windows on this side of the church as well. I think I'd like to have a branch that comes out over the water here so I think maybe I'll have it come out from here so same colors and my brown brush I'm going to pull and wiggle bring it up and then just over the water we're going to add a few little branches off of that and then cover them with snow blue, 
mix it up with my round brush. Could add a little bit of turquoise in there too. And I'm going to add it generously. on top of these branches. little tree trunks in the background gentle little pulls Okay, this painting's all done. Hope you guys enjoyed this one and learned a lot today. I'll see you soon in my next video. Thanks again for watching. Bye everyone.